Hi everyone, Susan from Bud's Bees. Today I'm going to talk about making soapless tincture. I trapped the propolis from my hive and propolis is what a lot of people call bee glue. Bees, Bees use, use it to seal up cracks and crevices and all kinds of places. places. It's, it's also used to line the brood cells for rearing bees and it is a mixture of plant saps and tree saps and it is one of the products of the hive that have um, unbelievable natural medicinal qualities. So this is propolis off of the traps and you have to break it off the traps and then bring it in. This is approximately one ounce. It's actually a little bit over. And that's how I use it, but one ounce at a time. And what I'm making, t showing you today is a tincture. The tincture takes actually two weeks to produce. The propolis is broken off and some people like to grind it but as you can see here this is uh, pretty small pieces it's very sticky and in this state i have the air conditioner on so it's not as sticky once it starts in the hive it's very very sticky that's why they call it bee glue if your bees produce this it's a very very healthy product for the hive and uh you don't want to discourage this behavior if at all possible. This is a really, really good thing. So once this is broken off of your hot, uh, traps, or you can actually shave it off of the frames in your hive, you gather it. And there's different formulas out there, but basically this is for a 30% tincture. So you have to have vodka or grain alcohol, something of the high 70% or more alcohol. And then you put it in a some sort of jar. And this is one ounce. This is one ounce in the uh, vodka. This has been sitting for over two weeks in the vodka. Uh, let's see. This has been sitting two weeks in the vodka. You can see that it's become an amber color. And this is now your tincture. So I put in one ounce to seven ounces of alcohol. And that's it. You let it sit for two weeks. This after two weeks then you can pour it off and refill it again with another seven ounces of alcohol and let it re tincture and you can get another pour off of that one ounce now you can see that this is glommed up when you're letting it tincture you let it sit in dark closet one of your spice cabinets or whatever you let it sit and then every I do it like once or twice a day shake it up and let it really get in all those spaces spaces and it pulls all the medicinal value out and actually the studies that I've read from different government sources and uh, FAOs and things they said two weeks and that's about all it's gonna pull anything out of it so anything longer doesn't pull much out so it won't hurt it if it's this is your personal stash of tincture to just let it sit and drink it out of the bottle or you know, drink it you only need a few drops I use a dropper you need about five drops a day or two drops a day I fill it my bottles that come with a glass dropper 
So depending on what you're using it for, you put it. You can put it in water in your drinking water and drink it. And sometimes I take it straight if I want the effects more in my gums or teeth or things like that. And this here is I'm going to show you that I how I pour it off and put it in my bottle. This to the side is old propolis that has already been used and spent in time in this bottle and because this bottle has a wash this is its second wash I'll no longer use it for tinctures that I sell I'll use it for myself because I know that there's still medicinal properties in it but I'm not throwing that out there's no way I throw that out I'll pour the extra propolis into this and use it for myself so once again, here is the raw propolis, and if I was to roll this in my hands, I could make little tubes. I think people have seen balls, so they sell propolis balls, and they wonder when they see it raw like this, what's the difference? This is cold. This is just broke off the trap, and if it's rolled into balls, that's somebody rolled that in their hand and warmed it, and they're selling it to you in a... In a in a cane or in a ball. So to pour it off, I know I can get about four ounces off of this. I have to strain it. So I have my measuring cup, my strainer. There's my strainer, my measuring cup. And I just have to pour it off. And you can see the difference that propolis has been rolled kind of like the river rocks. But again, I don't throw it out because there is definite resins and goodness in it. And it's different things that they are collecting. They collect from pine trees and different plant sap. So depending on where you are, it has different little medicinal properties. Basically, it's all the same. I don't know that they've studied specific area properties. And I, I imagine just like local honey that each resin from different areas may affect you and local may have a little something. But overall, the, the properties of propolis are across the board medicinal. You'll have to look it up on your own. I don't want to be a, said to giving medical advice. It's not medical advice. But consider me grandma telling you to eat your chicken soup. So there you are. This is a wonderful propolis. I don't think I have to pour that off. I know some people don't like the goo. But there, that sediment in there, if it went through my little screen, I think it's worth it to have it in your bottle. And now my hands are super sticky because I just touched that propolis. It's just really a very super sticky kind of... Ugh. Okay, so do you take the dropper out and you 
have to have a funnel of some kind to fit that small. And of course, I can't find mine, but I do have squeeze bottles. And this pretty much works as a funnel because you want to not spill very much. And if you're like me, you're going to pretty much figure out a way to use even what you spill. Okay. And just very carefully give a pour. And you want to fill up to that shoulder. Oops. That might be just too much with the dropper. the dropper in. Nope, it's good. Once again, it says I have about two more ounces, which is what I figure. Some of my seven ounces of alcohol, from what I gather, is actually absorbed into the propolis, and that's why I have the fatter looking propolis. Another reason not to just throw stuff away because it's spent. Because it's not really spent, it's there. It's in a different form. tripod is dying. I use it out in the field and it just has deteriorated with all the sun and heat. And make sure my dropper doesn't overflow me. Very close. Oh, that's good. I am a home maker, handmade, small business. Some people have filling machines, I do not. So that's one of our little lovelies. Remember up to the Shoulder. Oops. That one might be a high. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit too high. Now pouring it out is not always very cool, so I think it's probably just a dropper too much. Yeah, just a dropper too much. And that's good. That's a beautiful fill. Okay. So now I have four filled bottles. I'm going to fill the other. And on my nice clean bottle, I will put a label and send it out. So if you don't want to make your own tincture, I carry them on Etsy. Again, it takes two weeks to make. So at least two weeks and that's not including the trap time the trap time is for the season and the season runs 
generally in the fall so I leave the traps on as long as I can probably through winter because they really don't want the cracks in their hive in the winter and there's the pretty bottle that way pretty bottle and my label that is a 30% tincture and there you go So it's a pretty wonderful product from this to this. If you liked what you just saw, you want to you see more, give a comment, subscribe. I have an Instagram account, that's Bees Wonder Bees Organic and a Facebook, so come see me. And make sure you click the bell for notifications. Thank you and happy beekeeping.